Lab 08, VPN Tunneling Lab, Part 2. This is a continuation of Lab 07. So we need the code template from uh, Lab 07. In this uh, part, we are going to complete task from 7 to 9. Here, task 7, 8, and 9. We need the code template from um, lab 7. Okay, now first uh, let's uh, bring up the containers we used in uh, lab 7. Lab 7, loading experiment on host V. In any uh, real VPN system, the traffic will be encrypted. This part is not covered in this uh, lab, as we discussed in Lab 07. That means the return traffic must come back from the same tunnel. However, how to get the return traffic from host V to the VPN server? is non-trivial. Our setup simplifies the situation in our setup host with routing table has a default setting packs going to any destination except its own private network will be automatically uh, routed to the VPN server. In the real world host we may be a few hops away from the VPN server and the default routing entry may not guarantee to route the return packet back to the VPN server and routing tables inside a private network have to be set up properly to ensure that packets going to the other end of the tunnel will be routed to the VPN server. To simulate this scenario, we will remove the default entry from host V and add a more specific entry to the routing table so the return packet can be routed back to the VPN server and you can use the following commands to remove the default entry and add a new one to delete the default entry have IP route dear default here is add a new entry so we can uh, open host v this is a host v First, we can uh, check the current routing table. Right, there are two uh, rules. We are asked to delete the default and add a new one. IP route deal default. Then we can check it again. You will see this line is deleted. Now let's add an entry. IP route add any packs going to the client side. The return packs can be routed back to VPN server. So we can add the client side
is a five zero or is a fifty or fifty three. It does not matter, but uh, you need to check its a uh, real network. Here just is a uh, example show us how to add uh, a routing rule where the VM server. Which are uh, interfaced to uh, the private network. We can check the figure here. Now, there is a gateway for the private network. Any packs going to the client side will be a route through this uh, gate. Here, we route through to where? To that. Uh, Time zero version network. Yes, go to set up the yeah, create and uh, configure the time is fifty three. So here means we need to change it to uh, fifty three. Then we can check it again. Happy load. Uh, we added a new uh, routing rule. Any package sent to this uh, network that will be routed to this gateway. So this uh, just show us how to uh, delete the default routing rule and add a routing uh, rule. So that all for task 7 is used as a preparation for task 8. In task 8, we need to set up the routing rules for both the VPN client and the VPN server. We will use, use a new network setup. Here we have two private networks in task 8. So let's close or power down. The first uh, network, this network, connect D, connect D, connect D, DC down. Okay, now let's uh, check task gate VPN between two private networks. We will use the setup. Docker dash composer two compose two dot by mf instead I'll use this uh, default compose dot by mf this one is for our task one to task seven this uh, compose two is for our task eight to task uh, eight for task eight we use this way to bring up Build the image, bring them up, and bring them down. Here is what it looks like. We have two private networks. 192.168.50.0 Here we have dot .60, here dot .50 Host U, 50.5, host V, 60.5 And we have uh, Two routers, one for the VPN, VPN client, the other one for the VPN server. Here is a simulated uh, public network. So we want to access U from uh, access host V from uh, host U through a VPN tunnel. So first, let's uh, bring it up. And we will use the code. We did in task two. First, let's bring it up. Build.
something up. Server client and this uh, sixty dot file the host u fifty dot file host uh, v. So let's uh, open four tabs and arrange in this order: host uh, u, VPN client, VPN server, and host v. Open for tabs. Now in this tab, we um, want to put uh, host view. This is our host view. Now for the client, VPN client. It has two uh, interfaces here. Client. There is this client, two interfaces. Then the server will also have two interfaces. the server and uh, host uh, v here It is a host way. Now we need to uh, 
set up crack loading so the packets between these two private networks can get loaded into the VPN tunnel. In your report, please describe and uh, explain what it did. You need to provide proofs. So we can set up the panel to ping from host A. You to host B. We should see a reply come back if everything is set up correctly. Then we break the tunnel. We will see there is no ping reply. Or you can use telnet, telnet from host U to host V. Now let's uh, open the code. Here is the time client and the time server. On client machine. Every pack is going to the right private network. It will be routed to uh, this uh, Tandero interface. So, similarly, on the Tan server, here it is uh, routing every uh, pack go to the left side private network is the left side network 50.0 then we route just through the turn zero on the server side and as save it so now let's uh, run this uh, client server to set up the tunnel before that, we can try ping from host U to V. You'll see it's unreachable. Okay, do we need to delete the default uh, routing rules? We can check on the server and uh, host default routing rules. IP Okay, this is a default one, we don't need to uh, delete it, just keep it. Uh, because that's the uh, simulated public network. So we only need to add these uh, routing rules to do the package from those two private networks. They are routed to the time interface. Actually, the first goes through this gateway, then we will be routed to the, the time interface similar to the server side. Okay, these two code files they are saved now on the client here. The client we run the client. Last zero on the server side 
we don't need to run in background okay let's zero that does not matter still here should be your last name huh? now let's paint again We can also uh, add a uh, way to run TCP dump. Surprise error output. As a TCP dump, now let's paint. You see two packets transmitted and two received. So there is a um, host, you, now you check the VPN client, this pack is how they transmitted from 50 to 60.5, host you to host V, they are packed, send into the tunnel. Inside the payload, this is what we have here. This is a reply from 50.5 to 60.5, then goes through the tunnel, then extracts payload. This is a VPN client. Here we pin server, you see a similar output. And on this uh, host V, you see this package. Echo request, echo reply, echo request, echo reply. So the tunnel is set up. Now we can uh, keep pinning, pinging to send out a pin request continuously. Uh, continuously. Now we stop the client or server. Let's stop the client, VPN client. Can you see? Stop it. And you see here this pin is also stopped. You we set up the tunnel again. And then you see the pin continue. And now stop. Can you see? Stop this uh, pin. Do you see here the sequence number from 9 to 20? 14 received, 24 packs transmitted, 24 minus 14 is 10, here 20 minus 9 is 11, we still need to uh, minus 1 is 10, right? 10 packs uh, missed. So we see these uh, pin packs went through the tunnel. We can also use telnet to have a look. Right, uh, go tunnel to this uh, host V. Telnet to the host V. You see it worked. Seed password D E E S and your IP ATGR. Right, you see, we turn net onto a uh, host V. Exit. Okay. We set up a tunnel with VPN tunnel and uh, we can uh, route the packs from host U to V and the back from V to U. We test uh, it with a pin and telnet. Those are your proofs. Now task uh, 9, experiment with 
uh, type interface. In this task, we will do a simple experiment with the uh, type interface, so you can get some ideas of this type of interface. We know it's a layer two type interface, and the uh, term interface is a layer three, which means from the IP layer. This one is from the Ethernet layer. And the way how the type interface works is quite similar to the The main difference is that the kernel end of the time interface is hooked to the IP layer, where the kernel end of the type interface is hooked to the MAC layer. Therefore, the packet going through the type interface includes the MAC header, which means the physical address when you have it. Where the packet going through the time interface only include the IP head, as we wanted to see in task uh, as two to a file. And other than getting the frames containing IP packets, using the type interface applications can also get other types of frames, such as ARP frames, since it's a layer two interface. And we will use the following program for our experiment and we will only use the VPN client container. So either lab environment setup is fine. We will use our VPN client here. As you can see stop this we only use this one. This is a VPN client. You may use uh, the first environment in uh, environment setup. It's up to you. The code for creating the type interface and the type interface is quite similar. The only difference is the interface type. Only change this one. Change it to tab when we configure it. For type interface, we use the IFF tab, where for time we use IFF tab. The rest of the code are the same, so we do not include them in the following. The way to configure a type interface is exactly the same as the way to configure a time interface. For example, uh, assign the IP address and bring it up, everything is the same. Only need to change this part. Only change to the flag. The code above similar, simply reads from the type interface and it then casts the data to escape it is the object and prints out all its fields. Try to pin the IP address in this uh, virtual network. Report and explain your observation. So this is the first part. We just use that uh, time.py and change it. CD to volume copy that time.py name as tap.py then we open it alright the tap.py we are asked only to change this one to tap Get rid of the code here. And use the template task nine. Here is task nine. I wanted to change that IFF time to IFF tab. So we call this a uh, while loop. Nice, save it. Okay, it is the program here tap, but uh, we what we return is turn. So we need to change this tap to turn. Certainly, you can change this turn to tap. It's up to you. Because some other place of the use turn. So changing this place is quicker. But make sure you need to keep in mind. Now it's a tap 
interface load a ton so to make it readable change the ton put the ton uh, into a tab here for simplicity I just use a ton okay we run it in the uh, event client There is a turn tap dot pi on that tap dot pi we run in the run it in background name last zero okay now it asks us to pin to pin a host in this uh, version network so let's uh, try to pin uh, File pin the twice. Oops, just mm. see two here. What do we get? We pin. We try to pin it twice. First, uh, in what to pin, the machine need to find the physical address. Right? Here, you need ask send out ALP packs to ask. Here is our tab interface. It uh, ask for full hash. This one, which means it ask for. Physical address is sent out three times. And here is a print out by the pin command to send out to a pin pack pin request destination host unreachable. This one is output by the pin command. Now these three lines are outputted by that print summary. Here, print is a dot summary. And this one is printed out by the pin command. So even though this one does not exist, the ALP package the generator. Which means it's a layer two package or generator, right? Now we want to fake reply, ARP reply. Before we fake ARP reply, we can also run these two commands, ARP command. This ARP command is try to find. Try to find the physical address mapped to this IP address. But we need to change the tab 0 to your last name. Last 0. Could I specify a number similar to a pin command? Just have a try. Well, it's right. Here is a print out by this AR pin command. This is also print out by the AR pin command. Two packs transmit, zero packs received. And these uh, two lines here, these two lines are printed out by the program to ask for the physical address. Now this uh, 33 host from our last zero. The IP address of our last zero is this one, dot nine nine. It's configured in the code. Dot nine nine. In our tab dot pi. For this line to see whether we can 
get similar result. Here we know this IP address result in the same local error network as our uh, tab zero. This one is a uh, outside IP address. Change the tab to your last name. Send out uh, two request packets. Okay, we still get it. Right? It's a print out by our program, similar to the previous one. Two packets of LP back transmit to uh, received. Now the second part, we are going to freak or spoof an uh, LP response use this uh, code. So from the template, and you see Replace the while loop. Ctrl V, Ctrl S, save it. Okay, now let's uh, run it again and uh, try those three ping commands to have a look. First, we need to stop. Terminated, gone. Run the background, last zero. Now bring those ping commands. Here, the first ping command. What do we get? We get a freak response. It says that dot file is at this place. The LP request Suc successfully get a freak response however this uh, does not exist right the pin packets they are also uh, passed to our last zero and you can see now it try to send this uh, pin request back to this non exist then uh, host at this physical address not just a two pin package here let's see two I have zero received because it does not exist no host with this IP address exists because we give it a fake uh, ARP request we tell this pin command say this uh, IP address is mapped to this physical address. That's why our ping failed, but the LP uh, succeeded. LP request we get a fake response. Now for those LP, uh, ARP, AR pin, not just AR pin, we should be able to see freak response two packs transmitted and two packs received here the ARP request and the fake response ARP request fake response so which means uh, our program worked as expected that second ARP command ping dot one dot two or one dot two dot three dot four we should be able to get similar result a request a fake response a request a fake response two packs transmitted and two packs received so this is uh, our task nine we completed all our tasks now we need to uh, 
bring down all the containers. Come here, see, stop the TCP dump on host V. Come here, D, quit. Come here, D, quit. Come here, see, stop the VPN server. Come here, see, then come here, D, quit. Come here, D, quit. Now on clients, VPN client, come here, D, quit. Come here, D, quit. This is a host U, come here, D, quit the tab. I'm going to create the tab. Now, I'm going to bring down the second setup. What we need is go to the lab setup. We need that uh, doc-compose tool. doc-compose-f doc-compose tool I'm done. You see all the other containers are stopping. Okay, that's it.